Alright guys, hey Zink here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. And obviously we got the update, there was plenty of different things added to the game. We've already covered the fact that you've got the poison street thing, the, I don't know what you call it, the trials? Yeah, trials. And we've already covered the Kami trials, hey, Kami just popped up right there. And, but there is other ways for you to earn rewards in this game based on the newest update. We're going to go over what they are, ways that you can maybe get them easier, and what I think you should ultimately choose when you get to the end, if you manage to get to the end, right? So in this one in particular, we are going to look at the street arts, okay? Now the street arts, this is not like the puzzle event. If you remember the puzzle event we got at the start, it's not like that, okay? It's, it's different from that. So how this is going to work is you can get up to 12 points and you can notice here that there's 12 different boards available, okay? So for the first one, you can choose one of these. For the second one, you can choose one of these, but you get two chests. From here, you can choose these again, two chests. And finally, you've got a character. Now I'll click on that at the end because I want to talk about that character selection, okay? So each of these pieces is going to be a challenge, basically, okay? So I've already got one. Mine was, I can't remember what it was, to be honest. I cannot remember for the, for the life of me what that was. So I can't cover that one because I don't remember what it was. But we'll go through them one by one. So if you look at the first one, gift friends, 100 heart gems. Easy. I mean, you should be doing that anyway, guys. Like, that's actually encouraging you to be, do you know what I mean? Productive in game. Look after your friends. Your friends will look after you. You can only do 20 a day. So it's going to take you, what, five days? Five days, you'll have that one ticked off and that'll be your first corner piece of that puzzle done. Next one. Deploy two attack class characters and win 20 times in challenge mode, Supreme Fist and the arena in Shadow City. Now this one might be slightly annoying. Um, you can technically tick off two of these at the same time, right? Technically you can click off two of these at the same time. So you see that one there, it's two attack class characters. This one here, let me find it, is, there you go, Assassin. So if you could build a team that had two assassins and two attackers, so your four characters, 20 battles, you're going to have done this, okay? Um, there'll probably be another one. I think it's maybe here. There is another one. And I'll, okay, we'll look at the rest of them in order, but... What is it, this one? Yeah. Okay, two tanker support. So... If you can work your teams in such a way, you can start chipping these off on the same run, right? It's going to be difficult because depending on where you are on story, for example, you're not going to be making massive progress. Um, depending on where you are in the Supreme Fist, it's going to be difficult because you're not making lots of progress. Where you can make progress is on the factional one. So on the factional one, you've obviously got um, specific teams you can run, you know? So what you could do is, on your wind one, for example, you could have two tech characters, or two assassins, or sorry. On your fire one, you could have two power users, and on your um, lightning one, you could have two support characters. You could do them that way. It will take you about, what, a week, but you've got enough time to do this, because you get 10 stages, 20 runs, you'll get them, you'll pop them off. But if you if you actually focus on this, it, it won't be too difficult, you know? Um, you can try and do it in Shadow City, where you basically put two and two on, but you don't want to hamstring your run. You don't want to make your run more difficult than it has to be. So there's probably easier places you can attempt to do this. And I'd probably say like the factional um, tower is probably your, your best way of doing it. The factional tower and Supreme Fist is probably the best ways to, to pick these up. Okay, so this one here, obtain two SS tier Thunder Fighters of A grade or higher. That sounds difficult, right? You can kind of cheat this. Kind of cheat this. What you can do is, if you go to your summons, draw so look here right so you can see here that i've got some ss tier characters okay if i put these characters into my wish list if i pull a copy of them it counts that will count it will give me one of those um one of those markers off of here right so if you already pull a character who is ss tier sss tier sorry this will count and it will pop this off for you. I mean, 
maybe some people don't like to do that because they've already got, um, you know, challenges, they've already got characters, they've already got things they want to work on, but it is definitely going to be something that's going to be useful to you. So I would do it because this chest at the end could be worth it for a lot of people. Challenge Guild Shadowlands 12 times, simple, there's no explanation needed there. We've spoken about this one. Except eight team bounty missions. If you're not doing them every day, there's something wrong, right? You should be doing them every day, right? So this is another one of these missions that's just going to come with zero effort. Do it every day, zero effort, you pop these off, no problem at all, right? Use fast gain 10 times. I'm not sure if you guys are using that. Um, fast gain, you should know this by now, but fast gain is this here. Okay, you usually use one for free for your daily rewards. I tend to use them all because they help with growth, but again, even if you don't, even if you just use the free one, 10 days time, that's within the event duration, you'll get this for free, okay? So you 100% can do that without any kind of um, spending, okay? Same logic applies here. SSS tier wind fighters of A grade or higher. All you need to do, summon your character. If you've already got them SSS, you're good to go. Deploy two tanker support fighters, we've seen this one. Shadow City boss stages, beat 10. There's three. I'm not sure if um, the cat and Akuma count. I'll be able to check that today. Um, if they count, you can do this in two. If they don't count, nah, they will count, they will count because it's every two days, so two, four, six, eight. Mm, even if it is just the three end stage bosses, it would take you the first boss on the fourth day, so eight days, to do this. But that's only if the likes of Akuma, the cat, if they don't count, if they do count, you'll be able to do it in four days because just two runs at, at doing this one, okay? Um, and finally, we've got, yeah, again, just what I've already said, just deploy characters in such a way that you've got teams that can tick off more than one of these. And the best place for you to do that, in my opinion, is definitely going to be the Factional Tower. It'll be the quickest, easiest, most straightforward way. You've got unlimited shots to do it 10 times. It's the best place to do it. Even if you do it, like, 10, 10, 10, then the next time it comes back, try again, you should be able to do it. It should not be a hassle, you should be able to tick all of these off quite easily. The biggest ones that probably look a bit whaley to you guys is going to be these SSS tier, but again, if you kind of try and focus on the characters you've already got star leveled, then you'll get this a wee bit easier. Now the final reward is weird. The final reward is just weird, I'm going to be honest, it's straight up weird. This is the final reward. I don't get this chest. Honestly, someone needs to like enlighten me. Why would you choose anyone other than Gen or Jury? Now, even if you don't think Gen or Jury are the best, which Gen is fantastic, Jury's good, she's not as good as Gen. Why would you choose the other three characters? The other three characters are more readily available, easier to pull, you can put them in wish lists, you can get them from factional summons. I don't understand why they're in this box. I really, really don't. Um, maybe because they didn't want to put Rose and Bison in the box, I guess. It even shows you on the box. Like if you look at that box up there, on the left, it's got an Inferno symbol. On the right, it's got a Master symbol. I think this box was only supposed to have Infernos and Masters in it. I really do. Maybe you disagree, maybe you think, um, I feel like they've gone into this and I feel like they've honestly taken out Bison and taken out Rose. I could be wrong, please don't quote me on that. But every other time I've had those boxes, I'm fairly sure those boxes have always got like the Inferno or Master characters in them only. They don't have like these normal factional characters. I d really don't know, I mean you can look right there, It's you can see it. On the left it's got Inferno, on the right it's got Master. I, I honestly, I feel like they've just went in and nerfed this box for some reason. I'm not accusing them of that, just saying. I think that's what they've done, because these three characters make no sense being in there. And if you get this box, don't choose them, guys. Even if you only need one copy, don't choose them. Choose one of these two, okay? You would be dumb to choose these guys, unless 
even if these guys are maxed, still choose them because you can do a trade-in thing later. They've got more value. Do not choose these, okay? Hopefully you can get yourself up to the top rewards. Decent rewards here. Here? Not here. Get your stuff. Get in, get out. Don't spend any money. Easy peasy. You should be all right. Anyway, guys, I've been hazing. This runs for 12 days. I've got a funny feeling that means that probably if the whole Akuma thing's happening, I just feel like it maybe won't happen until all this stuff ends and it's going to be like event two of the month, but we'll see. I've been hazing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll catch you all in the next one and there is going to be more. See ya.